tip. The dependents you claim are, are those you list by name and social security number in the dependents section on Form 1040 and 1040SR. In other words, the general process is going to be, obviously, if they are a dependent, you're going to put them generally on the first page of the Form 1040 in the dependents uh, area, listing names, social security numbers, so that the IRS can determine who they are. If you have custody questions about a dependent, that's where the issue comes into play oftentimes, because if two spouses claim the same dependent, you're going to run into problems because the IRS is going to see the social security number on two different returns and only one person can basically get the benefits of the dependency. So what happens in practice in those situations? The person who files first is probably going to have their tax return process more easily uh, because, because that dependent social security number had not yet been used at least. And then the second person that files, the tax software might even kick the return back, even if it's a legitimate filing, because the other uh, spouse should not have, or the other parent or whatever guardian should not have filed them as a dependent possibly. Even if that's the case, the social security number would already have been claimed and you could have the return kicked back, in which case you would then question as to whether you want a paper file or something like that. And then it could be an extended kind of time to kind of work out who should be claiming the dependent.